Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Red Arc 120 watt portable solar panel kit with the solar charge regulator. Now this kit will include everything I got laid out here on the table. We'll start with the 120 watt portable solar panel, the 10 amp solar regulator, the 16 foot long Anderson to Anderson extension cable, and on this side the five foot long Anderson to battery clamp cable. And then it comes with this nice nylon padded case here that you'll be able to carry your panel in and store it. <clears throat> now the application for this, this is designed to work with AGM, flood lead acid, and calcium batteries. Now one note I do want to mention is this regulator that you get, it does come from the factory all set to work with just AGM batteries. So if you're going to use it on a different battery, either the flood lead acid or the calcium batteries, it does have to be changed to the battery configuration. And the way to change that is you have to use the remote monitor that we do sell separately on our website. It is part number RED83VR. Just wanted to show you the insert there. There's an example of what that monitor will look like, and it's listed on this product page as a related product. But once you get that monitor, you can plug it into the regulator, and then it'll let you change it to whatever battery type you're using it on. If you're going to use it on an AGM, then it doesn't require that monitor. <clears throat> Now this is a nice portable solar panel system, provides a charging solution for off-grid adventures. You can park in the shade and then place the solar panel where you need it for maximum sunlight. This is a 120 watt monocrystalline solar panel. It'll use the sunlight to charge your RV's battery. And just to show you how the panel works, let me move the bag here. But it'll come like this and what you'll do is just unfold it. And then when you unfold it, if you look on the back, it has these adjustable legs that are clipped in, you just unclip them, fold them out, lift up your panel, and then just angle it towards the sun. Now I forgot to show you, there is a plug, an Anderson connector back here, you can see. That's what will plug into your regulator. So once you get it all plugged in, put your legs out, and then angle your solar panel where you need it. <clears throat> It is a, has an AETFE coating on it, which will protect the solar cells from any damage, helps gather the maximum amount of solar energy, and it's very lightweight. This whole panel only weighs about 14 pounds. Now the other parts I want to zoom in and talk about, we talked about the 10 amp solar regulator right here. This is what will adjust the solar panel output for a nice, quick, consistent charge. It uses a multi-stage charging system, which will help extend the battery life has indicator lights right over here that'll light up and monitor your battery and regulator status. And what's nice, right up at the top here on the regulator, it will have a guide that'll show you what those lights mean when they light up. And it does have built-in safety features to protect your electrical system. The five foot long Anderson to battery clamp cable right here, this is what'll connect to your Red Arc solar regulator. You can see it's plugged in on this side and then your battery clamps will quickly attach to your battery terminals. On the other side over here is the 16 foot long extension cable. This will let you park your RV in the shade and position your solar panels in the sun for maximum charge. The cable, as you can see, the Anderson connector will connect to the regulator. And then that Anderson connector will connect to the back of the solar panel that I showed you. <clears throat> now a few specs on this. The solar regulator maximum power rating is 120 watts for a 12 volt system. 240 watts for a 24 volt system. This solar panel we mentioned is 120 watts. Dimensions on this panel when it's in the open position like it is now, length of it is 40 and 9 16 inches. The width this way is 28 and 1 8 inches. And when it's open, it's only about one inch deep or one inch thick. If we close it, so in other words, if we flip this down, put our legs down, clip them into place, fold it all up for transporting it. Then you're going to have the same width from here to here, or I'm sorry, the width here is going to be 20 and 1 quarter inches. You'll have the same width this way, 28 and 1 eighth inches. And then because it's folded together, it gives you about 2 inch thickness. Now we mentioned the padded case. You can see with that, it's a nice nylon padded case. And just open that up, put our solar panel on there, have this built-in handle which is handy because this will let you carry the panel when it's all closed up. And then you just close your case, 
has two zippered sides. Zippered on this side. Zippered on this side, grab your handle, and you're all ready to go. The other nice feature on the case is so you don't forget those items, it has a zippered pouch, very large zippered pouch here that you can drop all those items in and then have everything all together in one simple portable case just like that. But that should do it for the review on the Red Arc 120 watt portable solar panel kit with the solar charge regulator.